Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image pulled up, the first thing I want you to do is to create two copies of the background layer. Next, use the elliptical marquee tool to create an ellipse around the object you want to keep in focus. Now you can drag and adjust the ellipse to your liking. Next, click on select and choose inverse. With the top layer selected, click on the add layer mask button. Now we're going to use the curves adjustment layer to darken the out of focus areas. I'm going to click on the adjustments tab and click on the curves button. Make sure the clip button is enabled so this adjustment only applies to our top layer. Now drag the curves line downwards to darken the out of focus areas. Now if I enable the background copy tool layer, you'll notice the mask is too sharp. Let's click on the layer mask icon and increase the feather pixels to around 170. Now if you want to go one step further, we can play around with the blend if section in the blending options to fine tune the background lights interacting with our vignette. With your curves layer selected, click on FX and then select blending options. In the underlying layer section, drag the white slider to the left. This will allow you to fine tune the white areas in your background vignette. Use the option key to split the white slider so the transition between the dark and light pixels is smoother. If you're not familiar with Blendif, I'll include a link to my Blendif tutorial video in the description. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.